Hey fellow tennis nerds, I uh, just wanted to give you my first impressions after using the new Radical Pro for a couple of sessions. Uh, I've been playing with it quite a lot actually because I play almost every day now. It's a little bit crazy so I need to beware of injuries and fatigue and so on. Uh, but so far very good. Really enjoying the new Radical uh, rackets, both the MP and the Pro. I talked about the MP in the previous video. Um, really enjoying that one as well. It's a little bit less stable. This one has more stability, a thinner beam. Um, that it has different thickness going throughout, so it's it's um, it's not a box beam, but it's it's uh, different uh, width, and uh, but really plush response from the string bed, a very nice feel on this frame. It feels like a very creative frame where you can play the tennis you like. If you want to play aggressive, if you want to play defense, a little bit in in the spirit of a blade 98 uh, that feels like it, that I feel like it fits. A kind of wide group of players. This one does that as well. Um, very nice, comfortable feel. Kind of brings me back to the Radical of old. Uh, I know there are a lot of players who like the IG line of Radicals, the IG Radical MP, which is used by Diego Schwartzman uh, in an extended length, and the, the Radical Pro, which was quite powerful over a 95 screen racket uh, that I also like and I have reviewed here on the channel. This one I prefer it a little bit actually over the Radical Pro. Uh, from the IG line. I think this one has a uh, better feel, a bit more forgiveness thanks to the bigger head size. I like that the string pattern is pretty tight in the center, a little bit more open towards the sides, um, which is gives you a little bit of spin but not too much. It's a controlled launch uh, and gives you good control. So also feels fast thanks to the beam design. It made it feel faster through the air. It's really easy to swing through, especially on my one-handed backhand. I, that's where I really love this frame the most. Decent pop on serve, not a huge serving weapon. It is more of a, of a touch and feel frame, this stick. Um, but it does most things well, like I said. It does the slice well. It, it's really for that all court crafty player. If you like to, if you play a lot on clay and you're hanging from the baseline, perhaps you want to go with a 100 square inch racket like an extreme or a pure draw or whatever. But if you like to finesse the ball a lot more, you like to use your creativity, maybe you want to head to the net from time to time. This one feels great on volleys, um, so it's um, very stable and the, the specs are really kind of in my um, sweet spot range. I can give you them now. So this one when I'm strung it up is 340 grams, which is um, kind of perfect for me. And this is with the overgrip attached to it. And then swing weight 328.5 and the balance 32 centimeters. So this is with strings and everything on it. Uh, really great specs for me uh, and many advanced level players, probably more advanced than me, but uh, I, I really have enjoyed this racket and it's a possible, possi I wouldn't say switch because I don't do switching anymore. Uh, whenever I play a tournament match, I have no idea what I'm gonna bring into the tournament pretty much, but I have a list called the MRR list, the match ready racket list that I update. So I have six positions on the list right now and this one will pop up on the list. So I will take away some one racket and uh, and put this one in there instead because this is how much I like this racket. Uh, more stable than the MP and a little bit sweeter feel even. Thinner beam, uh, just ready to go. Uh, so really loving this one. Also the paint is very sweet. Uh, so uh, yeah, great stick um, and been enjoying it a lot. Uh, and uh, I really can't say it has any weaknesses as far as I can say. Uh, not, no superior strengths like mag mega power, great serve, whatever, uh, but it's a very versatile and, uh, and multifaceted frame with many, many pros. So, so this Radical Pro, um, better than the predecessor, provides better feel, softer. Uh, I also felt it was a bit more spin friendly, although I don't think there's been a huge drill pattern change, but there's been a mold. It's a new mold. So I just feel it's, it's uh, easier to use than the predecessor that I liked as well, but it's just the feel that's much sweeter. That feel had a little bit of a thud like, a little bit crisper uh, if that's what you enjoy, but it, it didn't feel as kind of connected as this one does. This one I know exactly where in the string bit I hit the ball and that's what I like. So. Uh, two thumbs up for the Radical Pro, uh, Radical MP, good, but not as good as this one. Uh, so this is a 
should go up on the MRR list unless anything goes wrong. It seems the spiral fiber technology really makes the frames better. I think Head has found a way now to improve their, their current racket lines and the Radical is the, probably the one that suits me the best. Uh, it's stable, gives you some spin, some power, but it's still controlled and it's kind of the middle range. It really feels like a frame for a lot of different players. Uh, they don't want to go all the way up to a 100 square inch racket. So, uh, well done. I'm really happy with this frame and uh, I will keep using that and the MP and there will be a full review when I play a lot more with it. But these are my first impressions and they're very positive. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching this um, Radical Pro first impressions review. If you have any questions, you put them in the comments below. Please tell your tennis friends about Tennis Nerd. I really appreciate every like, share and subscribe. Uh, to the channel and also check out tennisnerd.net new articles there every day pretty much Instagram tennis nerd insta if you want to be a tennis nerd member and get more content and have a chat function with me You go to patreon.com slash tennis nerd if any if you don't know what racket you should use you check out the tennis nerd consultation service on tennisnerd.net where you can get an idea about what racket should suit you what strings and so on 60 plus five star reviews and counting. So that's all for this one. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. As usual I can't stop talking uh, so I wanted to add a few thoughts here about the Radical Pro. I've played with it more than when I shot this uh, talking video and uh, it, it's a really nice racket. One of the best ones from head I think. Uh, I've gotten some questions on my Patreon page about comparing it to different other head rackets because they have so many and uh, one of the issues in in heads lineup in my opinion is that there there's so many rackets there so that's something they could maybe work on uh, because it can get a bit confusing for the customer uh, to know what racket would suit them so to compare um, if you you know compared to the gravity line uh, which is also a control oriented racket for versatile players and um, that one feels a bit slower through the air thanks to the bigger head size or due to the bigger head size rather uh, so it's a little bit more sluggish um, and but it has a bigger sweet spot so this racket is definitely not that easy to use uh, although when you're on your game it gives you a lot of um, a lot of benefits but I notice when I'm, I'm not playing my best it the sweet spot is pretty small and it requires a bit more from me uh, but when I'm playing my best it really really brings it out so uh, just good to keep that in mind the gravity with a bigger sweet spot a bit more forgiveness a bit easier to use the gravity pro is still a difficult racket uh, i would i would say it was pretty hefty uh, a bit heavier than this one uh, but um, this one is a bit faster uh, which is, is something i prefer generally same goes with the speed line if you talked about the speed pro that's a little bit higher swing weight racket uh, 100 square inches gives you a bigger sweet spot a bit more power um, perhaps about the same spin because that's an 1820 string pattern uh, while this one is the faster racket the one that has a smaller sweet spot but feels really maneuverable and you can swing uh, with faster swing speeds I feel with this one comparing the other pro models as one well. same extreme extreme is all about uh, pop and power uh, so that line and spin of course and that line is definitely quite different from the radical the radical is a lot more of a control oriented player uh, line of frames and uh, if you're really into into maneuvering the ball and finessing and playing all court tennis i think you should definitely check it out fans of uh, similar rackets to the blade wilson blade which is also a very versatile frame will definitely enjoy this one um comes with tk82s palette so a little bit rounder wanted to add that as well i get questions about that so it's not that classically square or classically rectangular rather um, grip shape it's more rounded like Wilson and Prince so good to keep that in mind that the different brands have slightly different grip shapes uh, which is a bit confusing but that's how it goes and some prefer some and and some don't can't play with with, uh, with certain brands so it makes it a bit more complicated to choose your frame but this racket uh, feels great uh, really versatile plush uh, enjoyable not easy to use when you're on your game it, it, it gives you a lot uh, but when you're off your game it can be a little bit demanding with a smaller sweet spot thinner beam gives you not as quite as much power as an extreme or an instinct for example or even a speed so it's definitely the control oriented frame uh, with the smaller sweet spot than the gravity for example a little bit easier to use than the prestige 
uh, you get a bit more free power um, it's a bit more goes more towards the speed line so that's trying to kind of go through the different uh, head frames and different head lines of rackets but this one is probably the, my favorite head racket right now. I do also love the Prestige Pro that I'm using from time to time. That has a bit higher swing weight, um, a bit smaller head size. But those two rackets are my favorite head rackets right now. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Or even better, go to TennisNerd.net and put them there. That's all. I promise. No more. Take care. Have a good, nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis. And we'll talk soon. Take care, guys.